Good day, everyone. Welcome to our subject, Helen. Not everyone who uses a social media platforms has a good intentions. There are some people who use social networking platforms to take advantage of it or even harm others. Some of them might ask the user to give their personal information such as their home address, where they go to school, or what bank account numbers of their parents or guardians are. To avoid situations like this, we need to know some of the different safety precautions you need to take when using a social networking platforms. So here are safe and responsible use of ICT on social networking platforms. First, create a strong password that will not be easily guessed. Creating a strong password will help you secure your account. Nowadays, hacking is a major issue of social networking platforms. Hacking let artists use your account without your permission, so they can use your name to harm, stalk, and get information from other users. You need to create a strong password that will keep other users from hacking your account. Number two, use different passwords for different social networking platforms. This will keep other users from hacking all of your accounts. If one of your accounts is hacked, it isn't likely that your other accounts will also be hacked because this will have different passwords. Number three, add a password to your device. Make sure your phone is encrypted when you install a social networking app on it. You might also want to tell your parents about your phone password in case anything goes wrong. Number four, if your age is not yet appropriate in a social networking platforms that you want to use, do not use that platform yet. Every social networking platform has an age requirement because there might be some content on that platform which might not be appropriate for the younger age group. If you make an account on that platform, it could be suspended if your age is less than what is required for that platform. So better not use that platform, okay? Number five, think before you click. What we post online cannot be undone, especially when it has a big effect on others' users. There are users who use social networking platforms to bully others, for instance, and always be aware of what you post online. Here in the Philippines, if you bully someone online, legal action can be taken against you under RA 1067 Section 2, which is the law on cyberbullying. So there is a law for cyberbullying better to use the social networking platforms for the useful ways. Number six, limit what you share and post. Do not share and post everything in your social networking accounts. Do not reveal personal information like where you live, your phone number, your personal email address, and your financial information. Posting such personal information makes it easy for hackers to steal your identity. Keep your personal information personal. Number seven, do not accept a friend request from a stranger. If you do not know the person who wants to be your friend online, do not engage with them without your parents' advice. The person could be a fake account that can harm and bother you. 
For number eight, do not click the links that are randomly messaged to you. Even if it is from your closest friend, be wary of links which are sent in messages whose sender is someone you do not know. That message link is most likely a computer virus or a spam message. A computer virus can destroy your files, get personal information, or worse, disable your computer or mobile phone system. Spamming, on the other hand, is about sending a single unsolicited message to a lot of people. Spammers are those which promote or advertise a product or service to multiple recipients. Number 9. Keep your auto and video conference private. When video chatting with others, make sure that no participant can look at your private things or files, such as a portrait of your family or in a secret blueprints of your house. Find a place that has a plain background or use a virtual background if the platform allows for this. If you want to record your video conferences, make sure that all the participants are aware that you are doing so. If possible, do not post or record a video conference online, especially when there is some personal information that can be leaked. You can also add privacy lens cover. This could be a piece of paper that can cover your laptop or camera to maximize your privacy, particularly when you're not using your camera. For number 10, be careful when sharing your invitation link. Do not publicize or share your video conference link to strangers. Only invite those people you are acquainted with and also remind other participants to do the same thing. And now, here are the steps to create a social networking page on Facebook. First, first, go to https colon www.facebook.com to log in into your account. Second, once logged in, you will see pages on the left side part of your screen, like in this picture. Number three, click pages, then click create new page. For number four, fill up all the information needed for your age, like the page name, category, and description. When creating a page, keep your target audience in mind. A page about cats, for example, will likely not be clicked on your target audience that hates cats. Number five, after filing up all the information needed, click create a page so a page name category and description you can also see the preview of your page you can change this preview to mobile phone by clicking on the mobile phone icon on the top right side of the desktop preview so the following image is thus how the page will look like on a mobile phone for number six now that you have a Facebook page, click Add Profile Picture and Add Cover Photo. To add a profile picture and cover for your page, this will make your page look more attractive and more captivating. Is it right? And for number seven, once you click the Add Profile Picture button, a pop-up Windows menu will appear. Locate where you save profile picture and cover photo, then click Open. The developing image is how your page will look like after you finish uploading your page profile and covered images. Then click Save.
For number eight, after saving it, you can see now post any content you want onto your page. Like you want to promote a park product or service to your target audience. And now congratulations on making your first Facebook page. For some reminders, social networking refers to building relationships with other people. This can be done face-to-face -face or through internet. Social networking platforms provide a venue to share your interests with others and to find possible friends. Different social networking platforms can be used to interact online. And that's all for today. Thank you for listening. Kiss! Have a great day, everyone! God bless.